So uh, what's the trick to not noticing the lack and seeing uh, what you Getting do good at focusing on things that are easier and staying off the subjects that are harder. It's like when you say, I can't do that, then stop trying. I can't see it the way I want to see it, then stop it. We like to do it this way. So let's say that some situation is really active in you and you don't have something manifested right now that you want. You've got it. You just can't see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it. So you're focused upon it not being fully manifested. And you're calibrating to the current existence that is not what you want it to be. And you've been doing it for a while, so that calibration comes easy to you. And it's really easy because there's so many people around you doing the same thing. All the lover gone bad songs, and you can hardly find anything on television that doesn't hurt your feelings. Everything on television seems to be designed to tear wings off flies and poke at you. In other words, it's like just sort of mean to you. And so as you focus there, and therefore continue the calibration there, it just sort of perpetuates that resistance that holds you apart from being a cooperative component. All the other cooperative components have been gathered. You're just the holdout. So take a notebook and write just briefly. Open a page. On this side, you're going to write a little bit about what's going on and how it feels. And on the other side, you're going to take a non-physical approach to it. You're going to let yourself calibrate the way your inner being is calibrated on it. And you can do it provided you know you have an inner being and you know that your inner being has a perspective and you know that negative emotion means your perspective isn't the same and you know that your positive emotion means that your perspective is the same. So as you know these simple things and you do, then this is an easy process. So you write the situation. I've been waiting for a long time and it doesn't seem to come. And how I feel is lonely and disappointed and unsure and lonely and disappointed and unsure. And I feel lonely and disappointed and unsure and impatient and lonely and disappointed and unsure. And we say, okay, okay, okay. That's enough for that. But you acknowledge where you are. You're not pretending that you're somewhere else. You acknowledge you're owning this is where I am and the value of that is that if you acknowledge where you are now you will be able to consciously feel the improvement if you pretend that it's otherwise I don't want a mate I'm gonna give up that desire I don't want a partner too much trouble gotta compromise all the time and go to restaurants that you don't really like and <laughs> go to bed earlier or stay up later you're really funny people but you can't give up your desire because it's active. And so you're going to acknowledge where you are. I feel lonesome and disappointed and like I'm not a good creator. Time to turn to the other side of the page. Now, on that side of the page, these words help you flip to the other side of the page. You say something like, however, do I mostly feel lonely or engaged do I mostly feel lonely or interested mostly well sometimes I feel lonely when I'm thinking about that but mostly I feel engaged do I feel bored with life or eager about life mostly mostly which is it for you eager and engaged. eager did you hear her she didn't have any trouble with that she didn't go ah uh. she said eager there's no competition there's no question you feel eager do I feel incapable or capable capable so capable that's who I am just that much conversation has hooked you up to who you really are in other words that situation is no longer the object of your calibration this one is and in this very brief focus you have left that vibration on that subject in a new place you're not all the way done with it but you left it in a new place your point of attraction has shifted because you stepped back acknowledged who you really are activated who you really are while the other subject was still active in the background you calibrated all over the top of it 
You owned it. And you summoned from that things you haven't summoned from that before. So you no longer feel like you felt before you did that. That's the calibration process.